Oh yeah, something's really pulling on it. Check that guy out. There we go. He was cutting back and forth like a pompano or a shark. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. This is like my only opportunity to fish this week. I wasn't expecting this. The waves are really high. My nose is running. The wind is pretty strong. It's about 50 something degrees, so it's a little chilly for me. This is why you fish with salted shrimp. Check this out. This one just got hit really, really hard. Oh yeah, something's really pulling on it. It's pulling hard. Might be a shark. Oh, that's, that's a black drum. Oh, that's a nice one. Check that guy out. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. He was cutting back and forth like a pompano or a shark. Little pretender. Look at him. That is a nice fish. That was a hard hit too. Woo! Cut our purple rig with purple clam. Fish bites and salted shrimp. This should be a keeper. Definitely should be a keeper. Dude, okay, let go. It's like in his, right in his tongue. I think I'm actually gonna need tweezers. Tweezers, I keep saying the wrong thing, the pliers. Oh my gosh, Cat would be laughing at me hysterically. I'm always saying tweezers instead of pliers. Don't ask me why, they're completely different tools. Has anyone ever used tweezers for anything with fishing? Let me know in the comments if you do. Check him out, what do you think? How big do you think he is? Let's see, we'll see who's right. I'm gonna say 17 maybe. Hey. Oh, he's about 16 and a half. Woo. That's a good one. So I've got this piece of salted shrimp and I can easily get three pieces of bait off of this. I'm gonna take a little bit off the tail here. This is really all you need. This is how much that uh, black drum just ate. Just a little piece. You really don't need a big piece of bait. There's a saying that elephants eat peanuts. We're gonna throw this out and see what else we can get. I want a good picture with you, buddy. All right, let's see if I can get even a better picture. I want them to see all your pretty spots. According to that, he's too little. So you can see, now if he had his full tail, he would be over 15 for sure. Head right here. Hopefully another good drum. Maybe a spotted sea trout that has a tail. Or a little fish. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Is that a croaker? Oh, we got a spot fish. These, these actually do taste good if you get one big enough. It's worth the time to fillet. I think that one might get hit too. Oh yeah, that's definitely getting hit. Can get this one off. Dude, okay. Okay. Ah. Two lines getting hit at once. All right, there you go. Hang out with him for a minute. Let's see what's going on with this one. This one's also getting hit. Yeah, the bite's just turning on. Oh, a catfish. The purple clam fish bites with the salted shrimp is working great this morning. Don't you dare get on my other line, okay, buddy? I don't want to catch you again. So, not going to catch you later. something right here. It didn't look like a huge bite. It was like 
something fight, and I just can't tell. Oh, there we go. Hey, it's another species. It's a bluefish. It's a it's a bluefish. Yeah. Hey, buddy, he looks a little small. I think he's gonna need to go back. This one's getting hit now. There's a baby drop. Don't worry, buddy. You're not going in the bucket. You get to go back home. Here we go. I know, you're making noise. I hear you. Salted shrimp and purple kind of fish bites. This is our fish and grill green rig, green pompano rig. Got dirty water today, so green and purple have been the ticket to catching fish. And we're gonna watch because we just have a few minutes left. Oh, here we go. Get hit in the middle. We'll reel this one and we're keeping the line in. Yeah, it popped off. 